I know, I know, I'm a little bit late to the party, but at least it's not any party, but it's a birthday party. Everybody, of course, I'm talking about the 40th anniversary of the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that Microsoft is very, very much celebrating at the moment. Yes, 1982, that was when the first Microsoft Flight Simulator came out, the Flight Simulator. It's quite funny because even we here played it on the channel, or at least I tried here. It looks absolutely bad, but everybody, this just shows how far we've come over the years. Now, yes, of course, when there's a birthday, there's always gifts. For some reason, the party attendees, us, are in this case gifted. As in, there are tons of new content for free that has just come to the flight simulator. It is absolutely ridiculous. We've got seven new classic aircraft, among which we've got 1903 Wright Flyer. So many planes that I won't be looking at today, but the DC-3 even as well. We've got two helicopters, so yes, officially first helicopters. We've got two sailplanes, and of course, four iconic airports here, one of which is Meigs Field. This is cool because this used to be a classic in one of the old flight simulators. We've got the first flight airport as well. That's interesting, and so many new activities and new tutorial missions. No one cared about the missions, actually. But something I care about most is this A310. And I'm already spawned into it. See, this is from the developer called Enibuilds here. Enibuilds has been an incredibly renowned add-on developer over the years. They are very famous for their X-Plane A310, their Beluga, and their A300. The A310 particularly is known for its bit of a price back then for X-Plane. $120 add-on. Now, I remember making a video about this plane and it just being completely realistic for X-Plane. And, and the fact that we can completely download this for free on the marketplace is crazy. All right, now here we are spawned in. We are right now at Princess Juliana Airport. Famous Mile Beach is to be seen right here. This is cool because three weeks ago, I visited this place in real life at this Morgan Resort I stayed. And yes, this is one of the new airports that's been added to the flight simulator. It's incredible because I remember this is, this is super realistic. All right, talking about realistic let's take a closer look at this a310 oh yeah it looks good see i haven't actually i haven't pre-tested it before this video because i trust any builds so much they've been incredible we've got so deep simulations of this plane i'm pretty sure this is just like the um, x plane one. Oh yeah i remember this one you know the Airbus with the three batteries and the and the yoke. <laughs> That's something that you can always remember the Eni Builds A310 for. Now Eni Builds, of course, as serious as they are, they have a fully specced cabin here. It is uh, completely specced. Luckily enough, there are no like NPCs here that scare you off. Here you go. I do not hate this at all. Welcome aboard the A310. Now talking about screens, we've got some more here. This is a bit different from the uh, A310 for X-Plane. It might even be a bit better. Yeah, you, oh my God, look at that. Oh, the V-Speed calculator, that's crazy. I like this. I can just imagine how much money Microsoft had to give to Enibuilds not to put this for sale, but just for free. All right, maybe let's do some flying here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Just hear the sound. This is so custom. Honestly, we don't deserve this birthday present. I mean, it's not me who's turning 40. All right, here we go. 110 knots, 120 knots. Now, by the way, this airplane is, of course, also available for Xbox, so that's very nice. And there we go. And it does fly super nice. My God, what an experience. Okay, we do not deserve this. Thank you, Microsoft. All right, we gotta check this one out. Everybody, the Meigs Field. Welcome everybody back to the infamous airport in the middle of the city of Chicago. See, I've talked tons about Meigs Field in the past, right? You know, this airport is famous for, well, basically being stripped down by the mayor overnight in a little bit of like a secret operation, which was a bit strange. The airport doesn't exist at all anymore. It's not, you know, existed in, since the 90s. And so understandably enough, it's not existed in the flight simulators until now. All right, so come on, let's do a bit of a landing. You know, the service has a bit of like a runway test here. Oh yeah. The old monotone GPWS call outs. Oh, the plane wants to kill itself. 10. It looks, it literally sounds like Stephen Hawking's. All right, come on now. Let's come in for a stop here. Get in full reverse thrust. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. It is a bit laggy, man. I need a new computer. This is a 3080. Great. Here we go, though. We have stopped beautifully with the air. A310. You know, that's been a very, very good landing distance right there. There we go. 
Look, <laughs> look at that. And it was a very messy approach, I gotta say, but boom, there we go. Pretty smooth landing and a nice quick stop on the A310. I don't hate this at all. What are these particles? Ooh. All right, that looks like a bit of a fever dream that's about to happen. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, do you guys recognize this place? Yes. Welcome to Hong Kong, Kai Tak. You know, this is one of the new places included for free in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Since, of course, it was demolished in the 90s and doesn't exist anymore, it doesn't exist in any other version of the Flight Simulator, but now it is included! Everybody, look, we've got a Concord added to the ground. That's nice. All right, come on, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a cold and dark check. That normal noise on the A310. All right, come on, start out of this plane. I mean, I've done this a few times since I've been flying the Beluga a bit. So, of course, now batteries have been turned on. Start on the good old APU right here, master switch. Start that on. Fuel pump, let's turn the turn that on as well. All right, there we go. The APU's on. We can see the beautiful screens turning. That's what I'm talking about. It's incredible how this plane is free. <laughs> Jesus, all right, come on, let's turn on the navs here. This will not take a while to align this plane on the inertial reference system. That is crazy. Let's maybe go and try out this FMC properly here. VHH, I think X. So X-ray, I think that was, there we go, the uh, KO to maybe like this, this place. SK, there we go. From two, okay. You just have to do this to align the IRS, there we go. All right, that's what, what, what it takes to get those instruments running. All right, let me just start going through on the fuel pumps right here. Let me start up those two little engines right here. Man, I like the layout of this thing, I gotta say. All right, I think uh, now that we have, wait a second, there you go, the APU bleed on. We should be able to get those engines started, so let's go ahead and do that right here. Start. Engine starter one, open that one, fuel as well. And here we go. We've got spinach in the engines. So yes, this is pretty much just like I remember from the X-Plane 11 plane. Equally realistic, but instead of $120, you pay $0, which is amazing. There we go. Engines are starting up just like they should. That's what I'm talking about. Right, let's perform a bit of a takeoff check right here. Okay, the runway is a bit broken. That seems a bit odd, but there we go. There we go. Starting to gain a bit more speed there. The APU is still running as well to give it a little bit of extra boost. Here we go. Come on, 120 knots, 130 knots. There we go. I like this performance of the A310. Look at that, everybody. All this experience here for free after you pay. Lots of money for the fights, but then no story. What a celebration this has been, everybody. So yes, the A310 definitely is worth buying. It's not a buy. So get that one. It doesn't have circuit breakers though, by the way. By the way, something I want to very quickly check out as well is everybody the helicopters they've added in, a bell. Now that is of course including lots and lots of heliports worldwide, like Grenchen. Yes, it's not the first official chopper for the flight simulator. Here we are. Cockpit seems to work very damn well. I'm not a heli pilot at all, so this is a bit scary, but let's come in, let's take off a bit. Okay. All right, they, oh, there we go. We're on board a helicopter and we're flying. Actually, you know what, we're flying quite well. But of course, everybody, we like, we, we don't like helicopters on the channel. Oh, what is this screen? This is actually pretty damn nice. We're finally now done for helis as well. Yeah, helis haven't really been supported very well. So that's very nice to see. Look at that, that's pretty realistic. I'm far from a helicopter pilot and far from having any idea of what any of this does, but this seems like a very nicely flying helicopter. Might not been the most realistic simulation though. So everybody, I mean, what a way to celebrate 40 years. There's so much more to check out. For example, the classic planes. We won't do that, but not today. So thank you very much for joining the party, everybody. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's party. As always, good night.